Yo. Okay, what is that? Oh, wow. Back again with another video. This video is about IT, computer, hardware, software, all that stuff. You know, specific development that deals any form with computer hardware, cell phone, all that stuff. I'm just going to give you a general detail of this. You can send in your request down and just comment or hit me up on my email. Anyway, let's get started. Phones or cell phone rights, if they're not under contract and they're prepaid and you have don't have a warranty on it, on certain calls, on a certain clause or things, you can put custom firmware on it. That includes anything. You can have like freaking lollipop backgrounds in it. So go for it. There's no terms in the clause of agreement. Computer wise, the easiest way to stop not fully stop hacking but make it hard make not you a easy target is to when you first get it set it up but if you are in the process and you need to set it up and you already there the easiest things to do is probably would be just unplug any form connection with that service or signal that's coming into that computer and then just go through every single thing, the programs, the files, there's hidden files, safe mode, recovery mode, reboot mode, you name it. It's not that difficult, people. But if you want to make it harder to prevent that as you set your stuff up, you can make the USB drive in both Windows, in Mac, in Linux, in Unix, and Ubuntu, Mint, Autos, operating system in that computers. You can make the USB drive only operated by passcode. Don't forget passcodes or passwords are implanted in certain files of the computer so no matter even if you delete that cache file and temporary file it's still in that computer so when you call a company and they says sorry we don't have this they be asking like I said in my phone calls videos in terms of hardware like that people really you really can't erase that stuff since it's cloud space can you retrieve it yes not that difficult so in my situation if I have a recording of something and somebody think they did delete it the fact that process that caused that process to happen is still there so all thing I have to do is go through that process to make sure that, that process happens it's like in order to screw you, in order to screw you, must screw yourself, basically. In order to screw someone, you basically must put yourself in screw position, especially if you have some that know what they're doing. It's not that difficult. Um, that's computer hardware. These are not computer hardware. It's not that difficult to make. I don't know why people make it seems harder than it is. Or the communication or Wi-Fi or internet there's only two forms of any forms that currently have internet signals just satellite and or internet internet wise what we use if you have a Wi-Fi then that must mean there's something in your place that gives that signal that you hooked up to and that signal is go to that internet server, internet service provider through switches etc etc or if you have that internet where it is a wire type coaxial fiber copper all that stuff that means it is connecting directly into your house or into your apartment or into your school, wherever it is. 
and that, that internet. Those are the only two separate forms of services we have. You either have something that with a wire or a signal that boosts in the level of an our atmosphere or you have a satellite service so that's way out the atmosphere. Even all that can get hacked because in order for you to see the information you must receive that information. Hence why you cannot delete nothing on the service due to the fact in the form of processing on the computer and the recognition of those processes and the words and those letters and the numbers and the program and then the program activate the program, the TCP activate the IP, then activate the packet and all that stuff. All that crap. It must go through a process of this is what it is, this is how it is, this is what's going to be sending out, accepting it, receiving, translating, and here it is. It's once you go through that process, there must be a memory in each of those process to identify what it is for you. You can go back and forth. This way is what I'm saying is you cannot delete information off of such thing. Now, can a person find it? It depends on that person. So when someone says like, oh, your phone provider said or something like we don't have the records. How do you not have these records when the only way I can contact through the phone is through you? And if that person has on their end received the information come through me, even if you bounce the signal off the fact that that signal came there and came to you, it's still proof of that. Now, there are cases where people will bounce signal, signals off where it never went to that signal. So, that's still the case of it still is going to somewhat go there because in order for that person to hide from you, you must have the recognition of that signal where you're trying to get to where they're blocking you from. In that case, they must that person must have a form of connection with that signal. They can say when, like, we don't have this information, we never been there, no, no. The fact that you have it and it is actually their information is there and that can go go back to the form of trying to erase information the best thing you can do in terms of a normal person is like kill their computer or kill their phone or system entirely but there's a problem with that as well a person can simply Take that part, refix it, and recharge it up. You literally will have to melt the parts not to get no information out of it. That's not that. And then, even then, a person that does not have any con item, that have no connection with any of those equipment, the fact that someone else is coming in that section with those equipment is proof that you don't need those specific items to get that information it's not that difficult people um tv and all that stuff it's the same thing i'm not condoning crimes but yeah uh internet signal tcp ip ipp website, WPA, all that stuff. If you have been a victim of a form of cyber security or cyber attack, how will you form the cyber to people about it? Not that difficult. And if you're someone like me, who people does hack, you will reverse find them and just wait. Just patiently wait. Didn't send that information to cybersecurity. Say these are the IP addresses, MAC address, signal, area, zip code, you know, whatever. Anyway, mm, same thing. Go back to the phones. If your phone carrier allow you to put customware on your phone, 
you are able to you need to know your rights and responsibility about that uh, most unlocked phones and most unlocked Androids are are able to have custom firmware on it, especially the prepaid versions some iPhones are allowed it but most likely you're gonna void your warranty so make the choice make your stuff um, the same thing with computers I'm gonna get me a cheap $100 laptop I'm going to take the operating system out of it and I'm going to put another operating system the one that I made from scratch it's on a way different computer from this one so don't worry about it you're not getting that one you have not getting that one anyway so I custom firmware that computer with that brand and I talked to that brand of that computer the operating systems is something that when you buy the computer is a put in that computer price so you already purchased the operating system you can back up that operating systems and then you can take the operating system out to put another one in there I for one don't start disliking actually I really don't like windows they're easy to hack they're easy to get a virus they're easy to get a program the the fact they're I won't say they easy uses is more to L for the person put in the, and the propaganda it is windows are good for people who want to do this and do that and get off but when once you really get up there in the form of operating system both computer wise phone wise and TV wise and stuff like that you need to know what you want on there right? in terms of type of operating systems on computers I probably would go with a a Unix or Linux type Unix or Linux type and I was most likely make my own operating systems on it I only need a few operating system on it some form of basically internet the ability to get files on and off the internet saves the internet that's pretty much it if I want to get into more difficult stuff like graphic designing game designing or software development I would probably buy another computer cheap or make my own which is also cheap very cheap cheaper to buy it as whole I'm not saying if you don't but anyway if it's it by that and I would designate that as that software development computer because designate as that person instead of having one computer for everything really if you can buy the cheapest computer I've seen so far it's about eighty dollars in its use if you're gonna buy that computer you should you should know what you use it for again pay your bills get off of it leave nothing else then once you do get more money buy a more better computer but why don't throw away that old computer else you need the money from it just keep it I have like five laptops a couple of desktops and monitors very cheap uh, most of them I fix myself I have I found some of them without screens I bought some of them with a uh, monitor of the screen was discolored and the view point of inside it was broken just I'll just fix it myself went to the manufacturer bought it if I didn't know the manufacturer I probably YouTube how they made it and I made it myself and put it in there so so phones are the same way internet service the same way if you don't get good in it be your own internet service provider buy a huge freaking desktop make multiple desktops to put together and just make your own server off of it and you have your own server all right it's out basic of the basics i'm not gonna get this is far from a, a lot of detail this is just the basic 
I didn't get any command for the windows. I didn't get any pseudos for the freaking custom firmware or operating system. I didn't get into the Apple wire of the Max. I didn't get into none of that stuff. I didn't get into making programs that put in programs that put in yourself. It's far from details. But if you want to know more, you let me know. And don't strain yourself on trying to remember all of this. If you have a specific goal in mind, remember what your goal and take the best part from everything else and put it that. For me, on the other hand, I need all that stuff because I want to do a certain amount of stuff. I'm going to make a software simulator that simulates the information you input in here and, and goes through there and get the result. Now, that is freaking ridiculously hard. You can, like what I want out of it, the process I'm building, you can put in 5 plus 5 minus a thousand plus fish and then they give you the answer so you know have fun